we're back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be a spring haul with H&M and Uniqlo. But this isn't just like I've picked stuff I like. It is all stuff I like, but it's also H&M bestsellers. Another like influencer told me where that was. I will link it below. It's a great page to know where it is. And Uniqlo TikTok viral items. I did a lot of research before I did this haul just because I wanted to bring you the most value, hopefully. Uniqlo is just one of those brands that's just like me. It's basic, it's plain, it's simple, it's high quality, and I am drawn to it. I got carried away, particularly in Uniqlo. I've already tried a few of the items on and I just think you're gonna love it. So everything will be linked down below, including the sizes and the colors and the exact item. They are affiliate links, which means I get a small kickback if you buy through my links, which really helps me create free content like this. So thank you in advance. And if you don't click through my links, that's fine as well, that's okay. I also have all my other links down below, my TikTok, my Instagram, my LTK, where you can shop all of my looks. I've also just done a YouTube shark versus Dyson video, I'll link that here if you're interested in hair stuff. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Molly, many mid-size fashion, beauty, lifestyle, hair stuff. We've actually got 15 items to get through and I don't like long videos, so let's start. I'm not the biggest fan of tanks, but I was sold the moment I saw the TikTok relating to this tank top. It has a built-in bra. I have E cup, kind of like an F cup, about 34, and I'm wearing the XL now. I think it really works. I love the grey. They have a few different colours. The grey is sold out online last time I checked, but check again on the links below because it might not be. But it's comfy. I can wear it now in this transitional period because you can easily throw like a shirt over it. It's so flattering, isn't it? And it just fits perfectly. And obviously Uniqlo is like super affordable. I really love the way it cuts. It's slightly cropped, so here's my belly button here for reference. And I think it would be so great in summer with like some linen trousers. But now jeans and like a cardi still works. Really like it. It's also got a really nice dip here. So you know sometimes tank tops feel like too close to your armpits, and especially it being grey, um, it's not. I don't think it's gonna get sweaty, but the built-in bra is just a game changer, especially for tops like these. I feel so free. Any opportunity not to wear a bra, I'm there. I also got this cream kind of off-white one. Looks so good for my tan. I'll link my tan below because I'm using a new one now that I also found on TikTok. But can you see it's like elasticated here? These like funny cup things. I mean, my boobs, I can feel them spilling out. Like they're not built for bigger boobs, but this will work fine. And yeah, it's just like, even with a pair of jeans, it's really nice, isn't it? Sorry, the light keeps adjusting. Um, but you get the vibe, it's good, I love it. They have this colour online at the moment. It looks a little bit more yellowy, like creamy in real life, just a heads up. Then kind of in the same category is this grey, very stretchy sort of bra top. It definitely looks a bit more like a bra on me. And I think they advertise it as like a top, but I just thought it was really comfy for like summer when it's really warm and you don't want to wear an underwired bra it has kind of like cut things in again the cups are a little bit too small for me i'll show you over here um very stretchy very comfortable thin straps are they adjustable yes they are it's just a more comfortable bra option but i like that it's quite covered as well i just wear these in the day like working from home underneath t-shirts and shirts jumpers cardies that kind of thing Speaking of t-shirts, this is where Uniqlo got really confusing for me when I was shopping because they are t-shirt pros. Like they have every cut, every color, every fit and I got a little bit overwhelmed so I had to do um, some more research on the ones that people were loving and it seemed to be this one. I think this is the airism oversized but I will double check and you know this is just like my favorite fit I had the H&M 100% cotton t-shirts they're $6.99 I had those for like three or four years I have worn them to death and I just thought I need a rehaul of some staples but I didn't know where to start I could have definitely got the H&M ones again but I just wanted to try Uniqlo because they seemed so serious about their basics I like this and I love that it's thick enough you can't see the bra underneath I have another color so exactly the same t-shirt, just in black. This fit, like it's so, it's down to my elbows, but it's really comfortable. And let me just show you the white, because the white is actually 
like an off white. I'd say my sheets are bright white. I don't know if you can tell, but this has like a little bit more cream in it. They didn't have bright white, which would probably usually be my go-to, but I get so annoyed when my bright white lessen and become slightly more like beigey over time. So I won't get annoyed at this one because it's already at that stage. And I kind of like it. It's like an antique white, I guess you would say. Oh, this is an L, I thought it was an XL. So there is scope to accommodate for curve a bit more. They also just tuck really nicely into jeans. These are Abercrombie jeans. I will link them below. They are so comfortable. Great t-shirts, aren't they? I am very, very happy with them. If you too need some new basics, these are the ones I will be wearing for the foreseeable. Next up, I've got these flares. I saw them on TikTok on a gal who was doing a trouser haul and thought they looked so good. However, I tried these on. My guess is they're going to be a little bit too small. They feel like Lulu. They have that like very soft, like brushed cotton kind of feel, but with stretch. Let's try them on. They actually fit perfectly on the leg length and i feel like that's because they've got so much stretch they stretch down in a way i've got long legs as well that's where a lot of my five foot ten height comes from these are very interesting if you're looking for something more affordable than the lululemon aligns these are interesting and i love this color the one criticism i would have and i think this is because i'm curvy is that because they're tighter around the hips, I can almost feel them like pulling down a bit. I feel like the Lulus, when you put them on, they stay on and they stay up. I almost could see myself doing this a little bit. There's a little bit of pull down. Very interesting. I feel like this is Uniqlo's response to the Align flare pants. I'd be interested to see what you think. Let me know if you get this or you have this. And then probably the most well-known Uniqlo item on the internet, actually second most well-known, it's not the bag. It's the wide leg pleated trousers. They were out of stock for months. I saw this week they were back in stock in a big way, loads of colors, loads of sizes. If you're interested, don't wait, is all I will say, because I feel like they'll go back out again. Again, my guess is that they're gonna be too short and potentially a little bit too slim on me. I obviously have those H&M grey trousers that kind of like a joke now, I say when I post myself in them I go viral but it's happening every time they're out of stock they're never coming back in my opinion they've been out of stock for like 18 months they have a little bit of stretch in them as well so let's try them on they're definitely for people with a smaller waist oh I'd say I've got a small waist and that's tight on my waist yeah they're a little bit too small and they're a little bit too short um, nice otherwise I would take the size up if I could if you're a size UK 16 these will be amazing and say you're like five for eight. Oh, incredible, incredible. And so comfy and great for work. Love the fit, just need a bit more room this way and that way for me. Really nice, like a tailoring look. They look more expensive than they are. I feel that way about lots of Uniqlo stuff. Pockets, belt loops here, zip fastening that stays very flat. I mean, they, they, they fit, they're just a little bit too tight and a little bit too short. I'd be tempted to keep them if they were long enough because they are so flattering. That is a shame, isn't it? These are the Yo Valley, like Greek yogurt pots, the ones mixed with honey. I'm sure they're worse for you because they've got like more sugar and stuff, but they're better than chocolate. They are absolutely delicious. Mm. It's my birthday tomorrow. I'm gonna be 31 on the 7th of March. And um, I actually, like we're going out for dinner and it'll be really nice to go into Bob Bob ricard in soho he's too busy in the day which is fine i wouldn't want him to take work off anyway and so i'm just like what do i do i tried to book into a pilates class it was full i feel like i'm gonna have a wellness day i've been having so many wellness days recently and i really encourage them i try and do something for my mind my body and my soul i journal i fill in my habit tracker i get outside and do a walk i try and get my 10k steps like exercise i track my water intake i also have a food diary um meditation and I read. Next is a bit of a weird one. I love this color so much. It's like a very dark green gray and on Uniqlo they styled it with jeans. So I thought it was a casual top and I thought it looked very like thin, stretchy, skims like. It's actually an active wear top. I think they should have styled it with leggings. I mean, there was like thumb holes, so I kind of knew what I was getting into. I'm gonna show you anyway because it's a beautiful active wear top. 
and again this was very similar to a Lulu one that I have but I kind of wanted something day to day I don't know maybe I'll get some more skims tops like this no heat tech Uniqlo heat tech those ones are skims ish I will link those below I have one in white and black so I didn't get one but those are great heat tech long sleeve top I'll put it below and those are like the skims tops but for what 15 pounds or something anyway I'll try this on now it's a lovely color lovely fabric this top and I probably will keep it just because I love it as active wear but I would just really appreciate something in my wardrobe that is not active wear but that looks like this I can't wear it with jeans like it's just slightly too much but the fit is lovely it's stretchy the color I am in love with I think it looks so nice with the tan it also has these I think these are holes to like see your watch which makes a lot of sense. And then thumb holes as well. Very flattering, form fitting. I mean, if my hair is over these seams, then I feel like it looks like a normal top. It's just these seams that make it look like acne. This is so nice. Love the color. So that's my last Uniqlo item. I think they've just nailed it. Price point's good, quality's great. Capsuleness is wonderful. And there isn't one thing I'll be returning. Which is really annoying because it means I need to find more space in my streamlined wardrobe. Everything was wonderful. All links for Uniqlo and sizes are below. Now let's start with h &M. So as I said before, these are all h and bestsellers, which means they have been sold a lot. Which I feel means that they've got a lot of like seals of approval. So I feel more confident when buying from there. Also, I found that the bestsellers page at the moment very much leans towards transitional spring capsule all that kind of stuff and things I like, basics as well as trenches, blazers, uh, wide leg trousers, some light knits, things that are good to take us from now through to like May kind of time, potentially beyond. First item is this trench. I really liked it because it looked like a good fit, it looked like a good length, but mainly because of the colour. This is such a cool toned trench. I have one from Mango, you've probably seen me wearing it a handful of times, and it's quite sandy, it's quite warm. There's almost like a lot of yellow in the trench colour, but this one is a proper grey. So let's try this one on. So it's definitely big enough, isn't it? I love, I just, something about this colour, this greyer colour, I really like. I even like it with this outfit as well. I'd say this one's slightly shorter. So this one's hitting me just below my knees. I could take it a bit longer if I'm being picky, but for the price points, all of these H&M ones are like very, very fairly priced. What do you think? It's also got these, I want to say, corn ties around the wrist as well, just to add some extra detail and then the kind of tortoise effect buttons here too. Next up is this like purpley brown color, which I thought would just go really nice with my skin tone and hair tone. And oh, I already love it. It's long enough in the arms. It's that like thin, stretchy, form fitting, doesn't, does show my bra a bit. Does show my bra a little bit, but that's fine. I like this one, definitely keeping it. This is annoying, everything is working. It was only those trousers so far that haven't worked. Yeah, and, and the flares a little bit. This is very nice. It's just a very unique color. It reminds me a lot of the Skims Fits Everybody long sleeve t-shirt in the color Umber. And it's one of my most bought items on my LTK shop. I could buy a small house with the amount of commission I've earned off that top. So it's nice that I found this kind of dupe, dupe, dupe. Yeah, very nice, totally sold. Long enough in the body, long enough in the arms, comfortable, affordable, goes with a lot of stuff, perfect for the transitional spring period. Just wonderful, you have to get it. Let me know if you're liking this by the way, because sometimes I think this is too basic and it's not like out there enough or you might already have stuff like this in your wardrobe. If there's anything particularly that you wanna see, even like wedding guest dresses I need to do, then let me know. Um, next, H&M Slim Fit Mum Jeans. I got these in a blue, mainly because I couldn't get them in. They've got some like um, beige, ecru colors and I'm on the hunt for a new pair of light colored jeans. I'm just not finding any in my size in stock. There is no way 
on God's green earth, I am shutting these. Uh, these are an 18, I am an 18. That's disappointing. I mean, these are totally a 16. Okay, next. It's okay, because we don't want to keep everything, remember? I got a Cardi from H&M. Tell me if I'm being too basic when I say that this is a really good piece for transitional, but I am drawn to Cardi's at the moment. The ability to open and close it, like say if that is just me being too obvious and acting as if you're dumb, but cardigans are great. I'm always drawn to a gray cardigan for some reason. Um, so I thought this one, again, a bestseller, could be a nice addition to your wardrobe. Wear it closed, wear it with a thermal underneath, wear it with a vest underneath, wear it open, wear it around your waist. There we go, a little cardi. Very cute, open, great size, very comfortable, no itch. No itch, which I think sometimes you get with like the higher quality, more expensive wool cardigans. I can't stand them. I would rather something high streety. Really like it with this outfit. And you can go like this because you don't have any bra straps because you bought the Uniqlo top that I suggested. This is nice. This is so nice. This is how I want to dress this room. And a little up close jobby as well for you. Yeah, really nice. Well done, H&M. You can see why this is a best seller. Okay, next we have very popular for spring stripes i did an h m stripes edit as did they they are just like so popular at the moment i will link below i'll put h m stripes edit and then add my link and there's like eight or nine pieces on there it's kind of like a very textured slightly thinner jumper again you could wear a vest under it just a bra um so let's try this one on. oh the fit the way that the navy also suits the like the indigo of the jeans, the cut with the jeans. This is so nice. At the way it hangs, the way it fits, it looks exactly like it did on the model. I'm slightly skeptical when buying this stuff because it looks so good on like a size A model because I'm like obviously it's not going to be the same. But it's just like the hang. The hang just works and especially when you like tuck it in and ugh, this is a very nice top. This is the most successful like high street haul I have ever done. Ever. Well done for clicking on it. <laughs> this is so nice. You have to get this top. It's cool. Like, you look so cool without trying. I really like it with some gold touches as well. Um, we're on to the last item of the H&M haul and Uniqlo haul. Wide leg trousers. Because I couldn't not try and find those wide leg trousers from H&M, the grey viral ones. Again, my worry is that they're always never gonna be big enough and long enough for me. Love the color, love it with the striped knit, to be honest. Let's try these on. My guess, my prediction, too short. Do you know what, actually? Actually, hold, hold the phone. Okay, no, I was right. They're a little bit, a little bit too short. Um, five foot nine, five foot eight, five foot seven. These are great. They also fit really well around my waist. I'd be wary if you have a bigger waist, you might need to size up. It does that thing where there's like a little bit of kind of extra material here when you move. Yeah, not for anyone above five foot nine, but in the cutaway you'll see only just a little bit short. It's a lovely, lovely color. And yeah, I do love it. Another one that's just a little bit too small. I don't know, would I be mad for returning them? They are a really nice colour. If you are smaller than me, please, can you get them for me? This is Future Molly coming at you. I was editing and realised I'd left out the blazer. Put the blazer on to be like, might not even be worth filming. It is. It's the best blazer H&M had ever come out with. And I act surprised and I shouldn't be because it is a bestseller. I feel like H&M blazers a lot of the time aren't big enough for me because like oversized, I'm already the biggest size a lot of the time that I can be. So even oversized fits like normal. This is so good. And it's got structure in the shoulders, which I really look for because I have slightly narrower shoulders and wider hips and I do need that like balancing out. I feel like this is what a Frankie shop blazer would probably look like on me. And what are they like three or 400 pounds and polyester? Why not the H&M version? This is great. It will be linked. Very impressed. Love it with the, this is the Aeros and T and the Abercrombie jeans I had on earlier. Really like this outfit. I really hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I did filming it. There were some hits. A couple of misses and you know what? I feel like for midsize and plus, trousers are just the hardest things to find. The fit, especially with things that are a bit more tailored, like jeans or wide leg, 
the fit just needs to be perfect and it seldom is. Question for you, if there are any like digital creators who you think I should follow who have either a similar size or style to me that you think I might get a bit of inspo from, it's something I struggle with so if there's anybody please tag them below or write their username below or whatever. Um, that would be helpful, thank you. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed that one. And if you did, please do like this video. And if you're new here and you like what you see, don't be shy to subscribe. Just a reminder that all links and sizes are down below and anything extra that I've worn, like my Bowden jeans or the Abercrombie jeans, I will link those below for you with sizes as well. Uh, and I know that both Abercrombie and Bowden have a sale on right now. So any codes and like little helpful things I can put, I'll put next to the item. And let me know what you wanna see next. I hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you next time. So sorry it's been long, I am back and goodbye.